everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making all kinds of things in the kitchen from dehydrating to making a meal and who knows what else we're going to be working on. So follow me today as we work on getting some things done here in the kitchen. Good morning everyone and welcome to Cheat Meal Monday. Today I'm going to share with you a way to cook. It's lunch ladies dime dinner. This is a way to cook for many people for very little money. So I'm going to share with you today we are going to take some chicken now this chicken was frozen and it was deeply discontinued and I think I got it for only a dollar a pack and I'm going to show you how we can turn this chicken into a big meal so the chicken was partly still frozen and so I'm going to open it from the container and then we are going to put it in a bowl and we're going to actually rinse it really well and that way that will release the packaging from underneath it sometimes the packaging underneath it that absorbs all the chicken juices can become frozen onto the chicken. To easy fix that situation, all that we do is we run some hot water over it. So the next step, we're going to take the chicken and we put some fresh water in it. We're going to fill it to the top of the chicken and add some onions and we're going to add some celery what we're making is chicken stock because we are going to make some chicken noodle soup this is the way that my mom taught me for many years I add some seasoning this one was southwestern seasoning and then some of my homemade garlic and onion seasoning as well then we're going to add just a little bit of rosemary just to give it that special flavor now this is going to take a couple hours and we're going to boil it until the meat comes off the bone and it is tender how beautiful is that? All right, four hours later, the meat is fully cooked. In fact, it's falling off the bone. So now what we're going to do is take all the meat out of the broth, and we're going to separate the two. And the meat, we're going to have to wait till it cools a little bit, and we're going to have to take it off the bone. Now this is a lot more work than what some meals are, but the cheaper the meal, oftentimes the more work it is. If you would use chicken breasts, it would be a lot easier. But then again, you have the expense of the expensive meat. Buying chicken legs or chicken thighs or getting chicken greatly reduced at the end of the day is a way that you can really create a large meal to feed a lot of people and it doesn't cost hardly anything. So far, my meal cost about $4. That's it, $4 and it will feed about 20 people. Now we're going to separate the two and I'll show you what the next step is. All right, so now we got the chicken off the bone and I'm gonna go over to the stove and show you how I put my chicken noodle soup together. You can make homemade noodles and I do that on many occasions, but I have a lot of egg noodles so we're gonna use that out of my pantry. This is how having a long-term storage pantry helps you out. You don't have to go to the grocery store or you don't have to work on making your own noodles, which is really time consuming. So here is some of my canned corn and here is some store-bought corn. I'm going to show you the difference between the two. The canned corn that I make is so much fresher because who knows how long this corn has been sitting on the shelf. And I know this corn has only been sitting on the shelf for eight weeks. Canned food can last anywhere from four to about five years. Now canned goods, if you have it stored in a dry dark place, will not go bad if it's sealed, but you do lose some nutritional value with it but I try to use up all of my canned food within three years. Every once in a while I find a can that might be four years old, but between two and three years is when you have it the freshest. Same with this canned corn. So the expiration date, this canned corn would last you another good two years. If the, if the can is great, not dented, and it looks good, smells good, boil it. If you boil it for 10 minutes, that's gonna really help you out as far as botulism which I know people have very controversial ideas on that. But canned goods, when it's expired, it's not expired. You can at least have it for a year or two if it's kept in a dark, dry place and you examine the can yourself. So you really want to examine your can, you know, take a look at it and see if it looks all right. If it looks good, like this, most chances your food is good. All right, let's go over to the stove and I'll put all of the soup together and show you what it looks like. Here we have our soup. Now, I made it yesterday, but you're seeing it all in one continuous video. This is fat that's congealed. So if you're really conscious about all the fat that you eat, you can go ahead, 
you can take a spoon and you can skim this away and virtually your broth is going to be fat free because the fat always hardens basically this is what your arteries look like if you eat a lot of fatty foods now the fat has the flavor in it so if you want the flavor keep some of the fat there I generally remove a lot of the fat like this whole thing was covered with fat and I've been removing it because at the age 50 years old I do not want to have more fat than I actually have to have I have plenty of it you know <laughs> okay so we're gonna heat this up now this is the chicken that we took off the bone so I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in here now I am not going to use it all. I was really careful to make sure you don't get tiny bones. When you're cooking with legs and thighs, there are lots of bones. Chicken breasts are really nice to cook with because you don't have to worry so much about the bone. The rest of this chicken I'm going to put in a bag and I'll freeze that. The thing about canning vegetables is a lot of the nutrients are in the juice. If you use the juice, you keep the nutrients. So by all possible, if you can Keep your nutrients and the juice, use it, because that's very important. Here's my home canned corn, it's no different. And here is a beautiful can opener for made four cans for home canning. It's called a key. I'm gonna to try to find this for you and put it in the description box below, because it's so simple to open it up. And when you open it, it does not bend the lid for those people who do reuse their lids. It's perfect that way. Mmm, that just smells amazing. So we'll go ahead. I'm actually going to taste it to see how fresh it tastes. Oh wow, that is really, really good. Mmm! It tastes just like off of the corn cob. Now, some people like carrots. I didn't have any carrots at the time. So I have canned carrots, but I think I'm going to omit the carrots today. So there we go. We're going to go ahead, put the lid on this, and we're going to bring it up to heat, and then we'll put the noodles in it. I'm going to go ahead and lay this flat. Now I could use my sealer, but I'm only going to have this in the freezer for about four to five days, so I'm not going to spend the money and have a sealing bag for this. All right, so now that it's really hot, I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper and salt to it. Now I didn't really taste it yet because I know it needs both. We're going to go ahead and use one pound of noodles. You can use less or more. It just depends on how thick you want your soup. Now all we got to do is bring it to a boil and cook 10 minutes so the noodles are done. And then our soup is finished. Yum, yum. I'll show you what it looks like in just a few minutes when we're done. Everybody, that was the day in the kitchen. If you look behind me, you will see lots of work is still ahead of me when I turn this camera off. But is the soup good? Mmm, let's give it a try. So I got some of these crackers. Hopefully they're not stale. Or too stale. I like lots of crackers in my soup. So we're going to give it a taste test. Now it might need a little more pepper. So on a Pennsylvania Dutch table, there will always be salt and pepper. Normally we pretty much put that on ourselves. We don't do a whole lot of that with cooking. But if it needs it, I'll add it. Okay, so how is the soup? Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is so delicious. I'll add just a little more salt to it. I try to really limit our salt intake. The older you get, the more important it is to reduce your salt intake because salt can help harden your arteries. And so people often ask me why I don't like salt. I love salt, but we really try to reduce our salt intake. Mmm. Mmm. That is perfect now. Mmm. If you're really inclined to really work in the kitchen, you can make your noodles by scratch as well, which I've done in other videos when I make my homemade chicken pot pie. Mmm-mm. Well, take care, everybody. As you see, i got a lot of work behind me. I have about two hours of dishes to wash. Oh my word, never ends, does it? Bye everybody, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and that's a promise. Mm -mm. Hey, wait a minute. Can you make sure you're still subscribed to my channel? Hey, 
Okay, and here's some other videos I think they're worth watching. How about my chicken pot pie?